Scott Harris is giving an economic speech tomorrow. I've said this since she announced her running. We know, we know nothing about any of her policies. What do we expect to hear tomorrow? Well, I think you're going to see her be the best and take the best of the Biden economic policies that have uh, uh, driven this economy, for sure. Uh, and then she's going to talk about price gouging and going to pass legislation or executive orders her first 100 days to, to enforce the FTC to make it more difficult for companies, including gas companies, uh, energy companies, as well as food companies and meat companies, to, um, to bar them from price gouging and put a bigger eye on them, an enforcement mechanism. Because in the end, the president and the vice president cannot control inflation in this country. They get blamed for it, but they can't control it. And what many of us have suspected, Democrat and Republican, is when inflation is, 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 a, is in front of us, is apparent, you know, these organizations, these companies could do a lot to bring prices down, but they're not. They're keeping them up almost as willing prisoners of inflation and saying this is what it is, but they're making deep profits based on inflation as opposed to keeping prices at a more reasonable amount that would help inflation come down, one, but also would help people feel better about how they're spending their money and how much they're spending. And so look for that to be a big part of her presentation. It won't be detailed. It won't be deep. But it'll certainly be part of her future economic plan and give people hope for a better future and better for, for their money going forward in this country. You mentioned presentation, and I'm going to use that word because our Robert Sherman is in mm -hmm. Bedminster with Donald Trump. He's going to be speaking in about 20 minutes, our former president. There it is. There's a lot, He's going to be speaking at the podium. There seem to be a lot of props. They seem like grocery items. What do you think <laughs> he's going to be explaining in the next few minutes? Of course, he. we expect him to talk about the economy. What do you think he'll say using these props in a few minutes, Mark? Well, I think he's probably going to say, if he's on message and judging what I've heard from his own advisors, that Kamala Harris is essentially a communist because she's presenting the idea of government price controls like you saw Nicolas Maduro do in Venezuela, and it didn't work to control inflation there. Now, that's what his advisors would like him to say. Whether he actually <laughs> says it or not, who knows? Whether he actually picks up the eggs from this grocery basket and throws <laughs> it at the press, who knows? Never know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. That's going to be weird. <laughs> Yet not that. totally surprising. We'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.